the first half of it, Lando was doing the same lap times as me, but it was always the last five to 10 laps where it seemed like we had a little bit more pace than McLaren today, and we could um, extend our gap a little bit all the time. So that was definitely um, yeah, positive for us today, but um, yeah, he, he gave it a good run. I mean, that, that, for, that lap where I had to defend, um, yeah, it was close that he got by me, but I think then also Lando realized, you know, I have to save my tires to make sure that we um, make it to the end of the stint in, in the best possible way. He seems to be your closest challenger at the moment. You guys are constantly going toe to toe now. I mean, what's it like to go up against him? And uh, do you look forward to that more in the future? Yeah, but you know, I'm not surprised. I know how good Lando is and uh, it's nice to see him there. He deserves that as well. McLaren deserves that. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll have many more battles. I mean, we, we messed up qualifying on Friday, but every other opportunity we've had uh, qualifying yesterday, the race yesterday, and again, the race today, we've done, I think as good as we could always have done. So. Uh, I'm very happy. Um, a lot of points, two, uh, two more podiums. Yeah, not enough to win. You know, Max is still just always that little bit, little bit too far ahead for us. But uh, I'm still really happy with the whole weekend. But well, that fight at the end with Checo, he called it enjoyable. How was it for you? Take us inside the cockpit. Yeah, it was just intense. I mean, uh, for for me, it was a little bit easier. Let's say until the last five laps, I thought that I had everything under control. But then when I start pushing five laps to the end, he was even closer. So I didn't understand why his pace was coming from. And uh, yeah, two laps before the, the check flag, he overtook me. I thought everything was yeah uh, done by, by that moment. But uh, in the last lap, I had another chance and I, and I went for it. And very close to the line. So yeah, very aggressive moves, a lot of respect. And I'm, I'm happy that it was with Checo and uh, we could uh, put a good show. I don't think with a lot of drivers uh, you can do this type of maneuvers, you know. It was really tight from beginning to the end and uh, it was super enjoyable, to be honest. I, I did have a lot of fun. Uh, in the end, he ended up getting the podium, uh, but it's how the sport is. From a personal point of view, you've had a really good weekend. You know, you top three in the sprint, fourth today. You must be really happy with how you performed this weekend. Yeah, it was a good performance. I think we were just unlucky with the yellow flag there in the end. But overall, I, I, I think it was a, a good race. Yeah, bad start. Um, I didn't get off the line well, but then after that, the car felt good, good pace. Um, so yeah, I think it was a really strong uh, weekend. Just the car had a lot of pace. What happened at the stars? Was there anything? Just couldn't get off the line today. Um, a lot of wheel spin. Yeah, um, tricky. <laughs> It must give you a lot of confidence for the remaining two races. You guys are back to where you were at the start of the season. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, we definitely had a really quick car today, back to where we were at the beginning of the year. Yeah, a bit of a, an eventful race. No, we, we had again a problem with the clutch in the two starts, uh, like yesterday in the sprint. We, we've been struggling with this part all weekend. Um, then uh, the race, honestly, I had a good first team, but then, um, yeah, simply the Aston Martins, the Red Bulls and McLaren were a bit quicker than us. We were. At least we managed to outrace Mercedes, but uh, we probably missed an opportunity with Charles out of the race to cut even more points on Mercedes. I'm very happy with the, the work as a team we've done this weekend. Um, we purposely decided to compromise a bit the car setup for qualifying to improve our chances to race and have a bit more st uh, straight line speed. And uh, you know, from P15, made eight positions, uh, managed to you know, get in that, uh, in that group with Carlos, with the Mercedes, with the Aston for quite a, quite a while. And uh, yeah, uh, one of our best races of the season. Good tire management, good pit stop, good strategy. Um, yeah, strong, strong team results overall with uh, Esteban in P10 and me in P7. So yeah, very, very positive. It seemed like a really tough weekend for you guys. I know how much you love racing here, racing this track in front of these fans. Some of your emotions after that. Uh, I mean, I generally feel okay. Um, it is what it is, so I just, I just, you just have to suck it up. Um, but I, I got a lot of support from the fans this weekend, which was, which really, really made my weekend. Um, but yeah, the car was, <laughs> the car just wasn't happy this weekend. So, um, I, and I don't know why. Uh, we have a lot of work to do to try and figure it out. Definitely, I could, I could done more. Um, but yeah, sorry for the team, and also in the end, I didn't able to push maximum uh, for several reasons. But yeah, uh, overall, I mean, P16, P15 to not P9 is okay, still good. And yeah, well done to the team. I think also a fortune for Daniel that I think, you know, he lost a bit of in his start. We would have, we would have scored points, so yeah. What were those issues that you were managing? Can you tell us more about those? 
Uh, I can't say for specifically today, uh, for this one, but it's quite a lot. So, but it's, yeah. Yeah, the difficult, uh, you know, race overall. We we had a clutch issue at the start, the second one. So, you know, we missed out a little bit on on that. Uh, and after that, the degradation was super high. You know, like yesterday, we we seem to struggle more than other cars around us, and we have more deg uh, than all the other cars. So we had two to three stops compared to uh, everyone uh, two, um, and we got a small reward, which you know is uh, is something. But um, yeah, it's not good enough. We just missed pace, to be honest. Um, Obviously, don't have a reference to Alex, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, we just struggled a lot with rear overheating, rear degradation, and um, just uh, not quick enough. But from a personal perspective, it's another clean weekend. It's another good weekend. You must fill you with a lot of confidence heading into the remaining two races. Yeah, it is. I think this weekend, especially on low fuel, I've had the pace I needed. Um, so yeah, try and carry that forward, deliver in, uh, in Vegas. Another home race for me, so I'm excited for that and um, go from there. Just, you know, typical uh, start situation, got uh, too tight there. Very similar situation to uh, what happened to me in Qatar in the sprint race uh, with Esteban and Checo. I just got um, sandwiched there, both were closing in on me, you know, and you can't really bail out. So uh, made contact, I think, with Alex, which then put Alex into Kevin. Yeah, unfortunate, but not much I could do. Did you have any damage from that that you were carrying through the race? Yeah, we had some damage, but the red flag, uh, you know, allowed us. Uh, to repair the damage, so the car was fine, but yeah, just no performance as we can. A lot of things happened. Uh, I think firstly it exposed uh, a flaw or something in the in the rules because I didn't feel like we ever did a racing lap, and then you already start the race a lap down. So Oscar and I, uh, yeah, fell victim to that today. I think for me it's like okay, two of us today, but if 15 cars had damage and had to do what we did. Are they going to start a race with 15 cars a lap down? I don't think so. So uh, I think they need to be a bit more open-minded. Uh, so that was frustrating. But yeah, the incident itself, obviously I was at the back, so I saw quite early the smoke and the, the debris and let's say the chaos. And then I just remember seeing like a, a wheel, I guess a tire came off the rim. It was kind of like frisbeeing through the air and started coming closer. And I think even my, my instinct was to, to duck my head and I didn't feel anything hit me. So I was like, all right, cool. And then after turn one, I, I checked the mirrors and I could see the rear wing was was uh, damaged. So I, I figured the the tire got the, the wing. But then we got the news it was red flag. So I was like, all right, the team can hopefully repair it. And they did a great job. And again, we were ready to go on time. But then they told us we we're a lap down. So really frustrating. Unfortunately, when you qualify in that kind of position, you leave yourself in the hands of others a lot. And uh, yeah, today uh, it... it it paid off. So uh, yeah, lonely race. Still a lot of learning. Uh, you know, I can't thank the guys enough for getting the car back together. And that's 70 more laps around a, a track I've never been to before. So um, you know, still learnt a lot from that. And um, yeah, thank you to the team. Unfortunately, and uh, what's been a really tough weekend. Can you tell us more about why you had to retire the car? Uh, yeah, we just had a, we had a cooling problem um, that we couldn't get under control for the last. 20 laps I had no influence on our lack of performance really strange weekend yeah probably the, the, the by far the slowest weekend of our year so we need to understand why because we had quite high expectations in the this weekend it seemed like you were making progress today and all of a sudden just retired what happened actually I don't, I don't know the issue yet we um, yeah we had to retire the car I think some water pressure some temperatures started to go like Arrest, they, they shouldn't be, so something was clearly wrong. So, need to investigate for both cars, but it, it's a real shame because I think today we actually had, had quite a good pace. How damaging is it in the battle for P7? You know, AlphaTauri looked like they may score a point or two today. It must be really frustrating. It's it's tough. I think we had opportunity today to score, but now it seems like uh, some competitors, they, they will score. So, yeah, it's, it's not a good day, but uh, yeah, we need to understand the issues and move forward. Frustrating because uh, I think we had a chance maybe fighting for something, but uh, unfortunately technical issue means we have to retire the car otherwise for causing an engine failure or bigger issue after. So yeah, that's what happened and just quite frustrating we stopped so early. It seemed like you were making decent progress throughout the race. What could have been possible if you hadn't stopped? Yeah, I mean, I think we can definitely work together, maybe try to score some points for even one of two cars, but uh, 
Unfortunately, we didn't take the chance when there was us for taken. So yeah, uh, we need to just turn it around next week or next time. I got a, a really good start, and then uh, I, I think Nico hit. Uh, Alban squeezed Nico, and they had contact, and then sent Alban into me, um, like a chain reaction thing. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. Had a great start. I think it was the best one on the grids. Uh, put alongside the two Hasses. Felt like we were pretty much almost there, overtook them. Um, but I think the, far, the, the car on the left, the far left, was likely a bit blindsided. Started to move across, but obviously does. Myself and another Hass in between. Um, yeah, it was uh, one of them ones. It's happened before. Uh, nothing we can do. Just frustrating, obviously, just because we're in a championship battle, we can't really lose out on points like that. And um, we kind of opened up the race for, for the others to score points. Well, it's very easy what happened. I turned into turn six, everything was fine, and then you can see. I basically lose the wheel, the wheel because there's no power steering anymore, so the steering wheel feels extremely stiff. Um, then I go straight, then the engine stopped for safety reasons, which make the rear wheels blocked, which make me spin. Then I touch the wall, I started to start the car again. I did, I did 20 meters and then exactly the same thing happened. So that's it. Moving on now, there's still two races to go. I mean, what do the next few days look like for you? How do you move on from this? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I, I have no. Uh, I, I don't know what to do anymore. Obviously, it's been a season to forget. Uh, there's been uh, quite a few races where I felt I was on it, and then for some reason or another, it wasn't the result I wanted on Sunday. And today is part of them. So of course, the frustration is big today, and uh, it's like this now. I need to uh, get over it and uh, focus on uh, next, the last two races, which are still important. Hopefully we can uh, have a great race with Carlos today on track in order to keep the fight to the Mercedes and the constructors. And if not, then I uh, cannot wait to be next year.